Hi, I would like to share with you a bit of scripture. It's from Exodus chapter 20. Um, I'm going to start with verse 1. And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, which have brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. Now, um, the, these scriptures right there, um, well, particularly um, verses 2 and 3, um, are are, are um, first of um, the three, three, first of the um, ten commandments that um, what did they say three, ten commandments that um, Lord, Lord has laid, laid out for his um, people Israel and um, also for us Christians. Um, the fir the first of these commandments um, they lay out two things. First of all, Lord addresses himself to his people as as the. Um, as the Lord their God, I mean, who had brought, brought who had brought his people out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, and se secondly, that he, he's not only their God, he's also their exclusive God, and he's to be their exclusive God, that they shall have no other gods before him. I mean, and that go that goes hand in hand with um with the fall with the following um commandment um. I mean, ver verses um, four to six: You shall not make unto you any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down yourself to them nor serve them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. I mean, I mean, Lord, Lord, Lord want, wants us to make him, um, the, I mean, our exclusive God and not, not to worship other gods um, for, for a good reason. I mean, I mean, for, first of all, he, he's basically the only true God that, that um, exists because all all the other gods that um, th that that, suppo that supposedly exist are are nothing more than creations of man's um, imaginings. I mean, we we think of like um, think think of like um, the Roman gods, um, the Greek or Roman gods. I mean, though though those gods, if you really exam examine their behaviors, are very immoral. I mean, they're, I mean, they're like cruel and petty, and um, and they do, they do things that are, that we would consider ungodly. I mean, and just uh, but but God, but God, but God, um, as in as in Jehovah or Yahweh, um, is. I mean, his character is pretty much consistent through, throughout the um, whole whole Bible. I mean, he, I mean he, I mean he's he's holy, he's righteous, he's he's just, he's um, merciful, he's compassionate, he's forgiving, uh, and he and he's all and he's also jealous because um, he 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 doesn't want any, any other god to steal to steal um, our attention away from him and that, that that's why he, he wants us that's the second reason why he wants us to be um, ex exclu exclusive um, to him alone because all these other gods are, are going to lead, lead us away from God and to end up doing evil in I mean, because um, th those gods are ba basically uh, pro promoting e evil. I mean, th think think about um, like like um, gods of the um, Middle East, like like um, dur during the time they had they had um, D Dagon, and um, th that was the that was the go god god of um, Philistines and. There's also there's also Beelzebul, or I mean, who's also known as Beelzebub, who, who's um, called Lord of the Flies. 
and there, there's uh, there's Ashtaroth or or Astarte, uh, who who's this um, goddess who um, who's who is worshipped by um, by these um, pol poles that that um, that dancers weave ribbons around and just like this is this is basically like a sex goddess and just uh, that ha ha having sex is basically a religious rite that promises like um, cro crops and just uh, the plentiful crops and um, bountiful crops um, healthy crops I mean and the, I mean the, the, these got these gods um, not only are not, not gods, but they're all also, um, but also gods that 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 promote evil. I mean, just uh, and and God Himself is basically Jehovah God, Yahweh God promotes righteousness and justice and compassion and mercy and just uh, and they're and they're, I mean. Paul, Paul the Apostle um, addre addresses this in uh, his letter to the um, Corinthians. And you go to um, go go to First Corinthians chapter eight, um, verses four. As concerning therefore the eating of those things that are offered in sacrifice unto idols, we know that an idol is nothing in the world, and that there is none other god but one. For though there be that are called gods, whether in heaven or in earth, as there be gods may and lords may, but to us there is but one God, the Father, of whom are all, are all things, and we in him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by him. I mean, I mean, I mean, God, God, God made himself exclusive because he he wants he wants to be um, he 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 want he he want he wants to depend solely upon him for for all things and not on all these multiple gods who are just uh and just just doing their own thing and just just uh just promote promoting their their own um things and just uh and just. And all the, I mean, I mean the, I mean all, like the sex gods, and there's also also god god that um like Molech who, whom um pe people in the Middle East bur burn their babies to, and like like um there's infanticide, the infanticide god just uh. And we, and we also have humans that are po posing themselves as gods. I mean, f Pharaoh in um, Egypt um, w was considered a god, uh, and um, and al also um, there there are people who w worship um, who worship celebrities as gods now nowadays. I mean, I mean, just just think of all the like the Donald Trump worship that. That we have have and just uh, call, calling him the Lord's anointed and all all that fun stuff. <laughs> I mean, God 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 is jealous for for our ten attention. He he wants he wants to be exclusive. He want he wants to be the uh, only God only God that we'll ever ever want or need because uh, there's no there's no God that performs like him. And it's, it's like every, every other God is is basically uh, basically fantasy and people's minds is just um, they're, they're they're just there there to um, they're they're just there to sa satisfy um, human desires that that um, they, I mean they're that are very anti-godly and just uh, I mean I mean we I mean we, we need to um, Make sure that um, if if we're if we're called Christians that we that we um, don't worship any other god except except Jehovah or Yahweh and and, and his son Jesus Christ 
Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to um, share with you in this video. So, have a good day. May God bless you.